Hey everybody, Josh here from Android Central. Got a new phone, it's the HTC Evo Design 4G. Uh, it's coming out on Sprint, and I just thought that we'd do a quick hands-on with it. So, let's just jump straight into the hardware. Uh, we've got a nice big 4-inch QHD display on the front, the requisite capacitive buttons down bottom in HTC's signature order. We've got a 1.3 megapixel front-facing cam and a nice big earpiece. We've also got uh, proximity and light sensors right there underneath the earpiece. If we hop up to the top bezel, we've got our power button and a 3.5mm headphone jack. Moving over to the left bezel, you'll see that we've got a volume rocker, which is actually the opposite side for uh, what HTC typically does. And at the bottom of that bezel, we have our micro USB charging port. The bottom bezel has a pinhole mic and the last bezel is perfectly smooth. If we hop over to the back of the phone, we've got a 5 megapixel camera with flash, speakerphone, two pinhole mics down bottom, and uh, a nice dark black aluminum cutout, or slice rather, with HTC's logo engraved in it. The whole phone is actually an uh, aluminum case, very light, feels very solid in hand, uh, really, really nice build quality. And let's uh, pop the, the little battery cover off and see what we've got in here. The phone comes with an included 8GB micro SD, and you don't have to pull the battery out to get to it. Uh, let's see, what are we doing? It comes with a 1520 milliamp hour battery. It's also a world phone, so we've got the Sprint SIM right here. That'll let you do world phone calls. Let's pop that battery back in there. Uh, it's also running a 1.2 gigahertz single core uh, Qualcomm processor, and as it has 4G in its name, it does support uh, Sprint's WiMAX. So that is it for hardware. And let me get this sucker booted up, and we'll jump right into software. All right, we've got the phone booted up now, and so let's just dive right into the software. Uh, you'll notice that we are running Sense. This is Sense 3.0, not Sense 3.5. Um, and let's see, uh, it runs pretty well. If it would stop lagging, terrible example. Um, yeah, see the carousel runs pretty well, uh, which is really not terrible for a, a single core. Uh, 1.2 uh, gigahertz processor. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, we're running Android 2.3.4. Let's double check that. Yep, 2.3.4 and Sense 3.0. Uh, and it is basically just like you would expect if you've used any other Sense 3.0 devices. Uh, obviously, the Evo 3D comes to mind. Uh, slightly smaller screen, though. Let's see. We're packing all of the stock HTC widgets, friend stream, uh, all of the sense stuff. Hopping into the app drawer, we've got things like um, the HTC hub, footprints, uh, obviously the HTC likes, mobile guide. Uh, Peep is there included, Twitter client setup, and then some Sprint apps, Sprint Radio, Sprint TV Movie, Sprint Zone, etc. But otherwise, nothing out of the ordinary just what you would expect if you bought any HTC phone, I would imagine. Obviously there's the NASCAR app, which is unfortunate. But really not too much to comment on, and definitely nothing to complain about. Um, the performance for single core is very snappy, and definitely, definitely enjoying using it. So I'm going to toy around with this for a little while, and then uh, get a full review up probably not too long from now, we'll see how this phone fares.